Hey guys, it's Abby, and today I have my Ipsy Glam Bag for you. If you don't know, Ipsy is $10 a month. I believe that they tack on taxes now, and I pay like $11 and something. No, maybe it's like $10.56, somewhere between $10 and $11. Ipsy also has a Ipsy Glam Plus box, and it's $25 a month, and I put that video up earlier. No. No. That doesn't make any sense. I put that video up last week or maybe this past weekend. So if you want to check that out, I'll make sure to link it in my description box for you. And let's begin and see what I received in here. I have a hair on my lip. My cats are shedding and I swear when I, the air is filled with hair. So I blink and I have a hair in my eye. I put lipstick on and I have hair on my lips. It's just the way it is with cats. Okay. I think, oh, and I forgot I added some stuff into here. So we'll, I'll show you my add-ons first. And then I'll show you um, what I got from my bag. So the first add-on that I added onto my bag is the SL Miss Glam brush. And this is just a blending brush. It's the SS57 brush. I love SL Miss Glam's brushes. They're just so pretty. They're glittery and girly. And I don't know, I just really like them. I like having like a few girly things like girly brushes in my collection. So here is this brush. Look how cute the, the brush is, pink and blue. It's so cute and it has this really glittery handle and I love these brushes so much and I love blending brushes. I cannot have enough blending brushes. Okay, the next thing is this. This is the um, Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. I've heard so many good things about this mascara, but I've never tried it. So when I saw that this was an add-on, I quickly picked it up and I'm so excited to use this. I've heard so many good things about so Here this. is the packaging, just, you know, sleek black packaging. And let's check out the brush. Oh, it's thin. I don't know why I didn't think, I thought it would be like a fatter mascara wand. So here it is. I'm so excited to try this out. This is gonna be awesome. Well, I think it is. A lot of people say it is, so I'm excited. And don't mind my my hair. I'm in my sweatshirt. I didn't feel like, like getting dressed up today. It's so dreary in New Jersey. It's been raining for days and it's cold out. Okay, the next thing is this. This is the Radiant Glow Highlighter by IBY Beauty. I love IBY Beauty. I think that they have some of the best eyeshadows out there and they're reasonably priced. Three of their eyeshadow palettes as a bundle for $30 and I use them so much. So I was excited to see this as an add-on as well because I haven't tried their highlighters yet and I heard that they're very good. So this one is 24 Karat Magic. Our ultra fine high impact formula will pop all your favorite features. So let's see what it looks like. So it's this cute little compact and I don't mind getting highlighters this small because highlighters last a long time, especially I mean, they do because I only put them on my, like, the high points of my cheekbone. Sometimes I'll put a little bit on my nose or on my cup Cupid's bow, but I don't, like, go all out with highlighter. I do stick highlighter in my inner corners of my eyes every day when I do a makeup look. But, um, so I don't mind getting a small highlighter because it will last a while. That is so gorgeous. That will look really good as an eyeshadow as well. And it was creamy and pigmented. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm excited about all of my add-ons. I definitely am super excited about them. Did you get any add-ons for your Ipsy this month? What did you add on? I love hearing from you guys. Also, let me know after we go through my bag if we're bag twins. Um, and let's begin. So there is something outside my box, outside of my bag this month, and it is the Farrah brush. It's a dual-ended brush, which these are my favorite to get because I never know how to store them. I don't like... I store all of my brushes in like vintage teapots so they stand up. When it's a dual ended brush, I never know how to store them unless I just store them flat. And I don't like storing my brushes flat like that because then I never reach for them because all of my brushes are in one spot. So when I have to lay them flat, I have to put them somewhere else. So this is the 22E Shade and Blend Farrah brush. We've got the blender over here like the fluffy blending um, crease side and then we have this part right here where that would be good for you know under the eyes or blending stuff on your eyeballs and let's get the bag so here's the bag this month this isn't my favorite bag it kind of feels cheap 
It does. It feels cheaper than their other bags. Last month, I think it was the lemon bag and I loved it. It does have a little fringe tassel right here. And all right. So, and it says Ipsy right here on the bottom. It's pretty. It's one of the, it's like a, it's a glittery rainbowish goldish glitter bag. It's, it's just not one of my favorites. It, and there's glitter all over my hands now. So definitely not one of my favorites, but it's just the bag and I'm fine with it. Okay. So here is the paper that they send you and it says May, May 2019 Ipsy Glam Bag. Keep your head in the clouds and walk barefoot in the grass. I'm not going to read that whole paragraph. They give you everything that's in your box, in your bag, as well as a little description. And it says that the Farrah brush, it says use this brush to apply concealer under your eyes, set under your Set under eye makeup with powders, highlight the inner corners of your eyes, and contour small areas like your nose. Oh, okay. So that's a good idea for this part of the brush instead of the blending brush. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like knowing what I can use that brush for. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out is this, and this is the Blossom Compact Eyeshadow in Dusty Miller. So it says, for a sultry, smoky look, use shadow brush to blend the shadow into the corners of your eyes and along the lower lash line. It's just a plastic little compact. It's actually very, very light. It's a light plastic. It's not like the IBY feels like, feels like it has some weight to it and the plastic is nicely made. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly. And this feels kind of like light and it will break very easily. Oh, okay. So it's like a gray. It's like a gray. Let's swatch it and see. Oh, it's a very, very, very soft. So there it is on my finger. Yeah, it's just gray. Well, maybe it has some purple in it. Let me, let me build it up just a little bit more. Okay. So there it is. I don't know if it, does it look like it has purple undertones in there? I can't tell. I don't have any eyeshadows that look like this. So this is this will be nice to have, um, but I don't have a shadow like this at all. So I'm excited to try this one and see how it works. It's a very different shade for me. I don't have anything like that. Okay, the next thing is the Pixie Skin Treats H2O Skin Drink. It's pure hydration gel and says apply a dime sized amount of gel into a thin layer over clean skin and let it soak in. Pop it in your fridge overnight when you apply in the AM. It will help depuff your skin. It has green tea, aloe vera, and rosemary extract in the skin quenching gel formula. So, okay, so we have a gel skin drink. So I don't mind using that. Okay, the next thing is this. And this is the Lord and Berry 20100 Maxi Matte Crayon Lipstick in Here and Now. So here is the pencil. And it says this Milan based brand creates eye catching on trend colors you can wear from work to weekend. A swipe of this pigmented orange red chubby lip crayon will brighten will brighten you up for spring. Plus it's non-drying unlike some matte finish formulas. All right, so I I love reds. I really, really like reds. I love to wear them. I am partial to blue undertone reds because the blue undertones make my teeth look whiter. Um, I'm one of those that like every single time I wear a color like this, I feel like my teeth look super yellow, but I'll definitely try it. It's beautiful that is a very very beautiful shade and i do know that lord and berry makes some really great lip liners i don't have very many other products from them except for lip liners so i'm excited to try this and see if i like it and i'll try it and see if it makes me feel like my teeth are super yellow <laughs> okay and the last but not least is this and this is nature's cartel multi-purpose stick and um Nature Cartel is all about non-toxic, cruelty-free products. This shimmery pinky color stick is so versatile, you can use it as a highlighter, eyeshadow, and a lip color. Plus, it leaves a touch of natural-looking warmth whatever, wherever you apply. 
Okay, so let's check it out and see. And it just looks like this in the packaging. Oh, that's strange. Okay, so I was not expecting it to look like that. I don't know why, but I wasn't. And let's... The color is so different than what you see in here. So it's just like a golden highlight. I thought it was gonna be pink. Didn't it say pinky? Yeah, this shimmery pinky color. Is that pinky? You guys tell me if you see pink. Maybe I'm just not seeing it correctly in the lighting, but I don't see pink at all. I see gold. Okay, I put some more on. I still don't see the pink. All right, okay. Um, I definitely don't know if I'll put this on my lips. Let's try some on my lips. Okay, so I put some on my lips. My lips look weird today. It looks like one of the, like, whatever these points are on your Cupid's bow looks a little weird, but. So what do you think about the products that I received this month? Let's go over them real quick, and then I'll tell you how I feel about this box. I got the Pixie by Petra Skin Treats, the H2O Skin Drink. It's a gel moisturizer. I received the Nature's Cartel Multi-Stick in Glow Ball Awakening. I received the Farah Dual Ended 22E Shade and Blend Brush. I received the Dusty Miller, nope. I received the Blossom Compact Eyeshadow in Dusty Miller. And I also received the Lord & Berry 2100 Maxi, Maxi Matte Lip Crayon. So what did you think about this bag? I think that it was pretty good. I don't think it was terrible and I don't think that it was awesome. You know, I think that it was, it was okay. I love lip products, so I'm glad that they sent me lip products. I love eyeshadow, so I'm glad they sent me an eyeshadow and I don't have any shades like this, I don't think. Um, it does have like a purpley undertone, so I'm excited to try this and see if I can like make a really cool eye look with this. And I don't mind moisturizers. I love getting brushes. And this is a kind of, this is different. I don't have any highlights like this at all. No, I do have cream highlights. I don't use them often. I do wish that I saw the pink more than the gold because this did say pinky, but I'll try it out and see if I like it. So I don't think it was like the most amazing bag, but I don't think it was terrible at all. What did you get in your Ipsy bag? Did we get some of the same products? Did we get something completely different? Let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Are we bag twins? Let me know. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. And I love you guys so much. I'll make sure to link all of the, all the information for this bag in my description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.